Hello, my fellow freedom builders, and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you know, uh, my purpose with this channel is to make it as easy for you to invest as possible. And um, one of the tools that I really like to use is TradingView, but I'm getting a lot of questions about these multiple screen screens where I have uh, different time frames. Here we have the weekly and the daily, and I have gotten some uh, different questions about how to do it. So today I'm going to show you, first of all, how to use this uh, split screen, multiple screen in the paid uh, version. But I'm also going to show you an option for those of you that have the free version and don't want to pay for uh, the paid version with the extra features. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can get the multiple screens uh, completely free. Uh, there's a, a couple of features missing uh, though still, but uh, you get most of it. All right, first of all, when you have the double screen here, uh, to get that in the paid version, uh, you can see here in this uh, in, in on the website, uh, the TradingView website here, uh, you can see that on the more, you can see pricing, and then you can see the different versions. You can see here I have the Pro Plus. There's also a premium uh, version that I could upgrade to if I, if I wanted to. But there's not really any reason in paying for something you don't use. So um, down here, you can see that charts per tab. There are uh, some options with some multiple, sc uh, multiple screens, and you are getting that from the Pro version and up. Uh, you can get more and more screens in there. So in the paid version, what you do is that you go up to this little select layout uh, icon here. And in here, you can choose just one if you want that. Uh, you can choose uh, two on this side or, or on, on this uh, where they're above each other. And you can choose pretty much as many as you like to. And as far as I can say, I'm uh, tell I'm only paying for having access to four uh, different tiles here, but I actually do have eight. Uh, so I'm not really sure why that is. But um, anyway, I'm never using eight. Uh, I'm pretty much using two uh, only. All right. Um, just a little detail here. If you want to focus, let's say you're, you're doing your analysis on the weekly, then you're looking for on the daily to time, just as I am. Uh, and then you want to, uh, have an extra look on the, uh, on, on the daily time frame. Let me just pull this up a bit so you can see it here. Then down here, you have an icon saying, uh, toggle maximize chart. Yeah, there's also a shortcut uh, uh, alt enter here. But if you just press this one, then you have just the daily view. And when you press it again, you're back to your normal view. And you can do that as well. Just make sure that you press uh, one of the time frames here. You can see there's a, uh, a blue frame around it. And when you press it, that is the one that is maximized. All right. Um, so that's how you do it. And right now you can see I have Apple on both my charts. When you're doing this, you have to make sure, uh, and I actually haven't done that here, but you make sure that you press this symbol if you want uh, the same symbol on both of them. If, for instance, you're checking four different time frames, uh, uh, then every every single time, for instance, that I press, um, let's say, Activision Blizzard, if that was the one I wanted to look at, when you have chosen the a uh, so symbol down here, make that blue, then uh, it is shifting on both screens. Down here, you can also see that the crosshair, um, when I'm moving the, the crosshair here on the, uh, on the daily chart, it is moving uh, on the weekly chart as well. Of course, a bit slower since five bars here is only one bar uh, on the weekly. Uh, you also have drawings, meaning that if I, and actually sometimes that doesn't really a follow up, uh, so it is completely correct. But right now you can see I have uh, drawn a line here, and at the same time it comes at the daily chart as well. If I delete it on one chart, it is deleted on the other. So that is um, that's very good. There's time, there's interval. I'm not using these. I'm just using symbol, crosshair, and drawings. All right. Now that was in the paid version, but if we uh, want to do it in a free version. Let's just go back to having just one daily chart or weekly chart here. Now, if you want to have multiple charts um, uh, and, and we don't want to pay for it, then we need to uh, use a little trick here. Um, I know there might be uh, one or two uh, websites out there 
they are actually offering that. They have this. Um, uh, they they're using the the trading view on their website, and I, I think one of them uh, is it's actually possible to have multiple screens. But the problem then is that I have a lot of my own indicators in here, and I have a lot of, of scripts and and uh, using the public library and so on, and that doesn't follow me onto these. Uh, a, a third hand uh, or a third part uh, website. So I do like to have my own version where I can log in and use all my indicators. So let's have a look at how that is done. Um, first of all, you need to go into the Chrome web shop and uh, find a, a tiling tool. And uh, I'll link to this one below the, uh, the video here. So you can just uh, go in here and you need to uh, now, right now, I can remove it from Chrome, but uh, up uh, here, if you haven't uh, added it, then you can just choose Add to Chrome. Now, when you do that, let me just pull this down a bit. When you uh, add this to Chrome, you're getting a little uh, tile tab here, and that is the one we need we need to use. Now, if you're using uh, an Apple computer, I'm actually pretty sure that they can tile it all together by itself. Uh, it is something about uh, marking the, the, the different tabs up in, in the top and then right click uh, and then there should be something called uh, tile. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it is done because I'm not a Mac user, but I'm pretty sure that Mac has it uh, built in. But when we're using Windows computers like, like I am here, we want to add this to our Chrome extension here and uh, we have the tile tab up here. Now, what you want to do is that here we have the Activision Blizzard tab. Now, if I right click on that, I can duplicate. I can make a clone of it. So now on, on the top of my tabs, you can't see that right now, but I have two tabs exactly similar here. And I can do this as many times uh, as I want to. Let me make, uh, I'll just make two of them. That's all we need right now. Now I click on one of the, the tabs and I press my tile tab here and voila we have two different similar tabs here and of course you can remove all of this up here if, if you want to but right now what what is important is that we have our two tabs now we have the weekly here uh, we can choose this for our daily and of course there is the, the the little thing here we are missing the feature where we actually can uh, draw something here and it comes automatically up here and uh, there's a lot of different features that we don't have but if you just want to go through some stocks and um, let's say for instance you have a, a, a watch list uh, then of course you can just choose a watch list on one of them and the other and then you can go through them or you can say I want Apple here and I want Apple here like this uh, then you have the two charts here. It is not as smooth as a, and as uh, nicely moving as when you have the paid version, of course, but uh, it is working. And unless you are going through hundreds of charts each and every day, uh, this is a, a fair uh, solution, I think, just to get an overview of the weekly and the daily. And you can put as many uh, times in here as, as you want to. Um, you can just uh, right click on this one and let me see. Uh, add tile uh, below here and then we can just uh, press trading view here and have another one we can have all the tiles we actually want to uh, right now let's just uh, do with, with two here so this is a possible solution for those of you that uh, that don't want to uh, spend too much of your money on a subscription however if you do uh, look at hundreds uh, of, of chart sheets in every day and if you are using this uh, platform a lot then I do recommend that you consider subscribing. Uh, I do love their free version but when you're using it a lot, uh, the, the trading view here, you often stumble into something where it pops up and say, this is not allowed in the, the, the free version. And of course, that is how they do it. Uh, but I must admit that they have made the most wonderful free tool that you can imagine. And then I think it is fair enough uh, that we actually uh, pay a bit if we want some more uh, in there. And it is fairly cheap. I think it is from, is it? 12 or 15 dollars per month um, and now i have been investing for 
yeah, more years that I like to, to think of. And um, just 10 or 15 years ago, if we wanted something just that could do just half of what TradingView can do here, we had to pay quite a lot each and every year, just what TradingView can do in the free version here. So uh, I think we should be very pleased uh, of what they are doing here. And uh, of course, if you're using my link uh, below here, uh, that is an affiliate deal, just so that is clear for all. All right, I hope this gave you a little uh, idea of to <coughs> sorry, as to how you could use both the uh, multiple charts in the free version and of course how to use it in the paid version. That's all for now. If you haven't done already, remember to hit the subscribe button down there and the like uh, thumbs up if you like the video and the content here. I'm looking forward to talking to you again soon and there will be more videos in the upcoming weeks about TradingView and about the screener and about all sorts of smart uh, features they have that not many are using. So that's all for now. Take care of yourself and your money out there and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.